So the new Suicide Squad, a kind of reimagining of the last one, um, really shows how you can have differing of opinions just by directors. The auteur theory is alive and well here as you look at James Gunn as he takes over the mantle of director and imbues this movie with a sense of embraced silliness. You know, he understands that this is a ridiculous idea for a story and embraces that. Highlighting some of the more ridiculous moments in the movie, it just creates a film that's effortlessly fun, that's filled with ridiculous looking characters that are teased and made fun of by the other characters in the movie. It's a movie that is ridiculously violent just because it can be not because it needs to elevate the story. There is characters in here that I really enjoyed spending a lot of time with. Now, we're, we have Margot Robbie back as the kind of mainstay uh, from the original Suicide Squad. You've got Viola Davis as well, which are, uh, along with Joel Kinnaman, are the only three kind of surviving members of the original Suicide Squad. Now, I originally thought that... Uh, Idris Elba was playing Deadshot in this one, but it doesn't. It seems that he's playing uh, Bloodsport, a different character altogether. And along with some other characters, they're going to go someplace uh, bad, destroy something that's badder and save the world in process type of thing. The, the bad thing that they're after is Starro, which I don't want to go into. Now, if you're a fan of the comics, you probably know this character and, and what they're capable of. I had no idea, so it came as a welcome surprise, uh, a really smile-inducing bonkers moment in the movie that I won't talk about too much because it was utterly ridiculous late. But ultimately it worked and was really fun and interesting visually. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to move on. The... The 12 year old in me was cheering at the screen at the overuse of profanities, at the unnecessary violence and the sheer stupidity of a lot of the characters. And it zips along with a really fast, uh, quick editing, moving from joke to plot to joke, escalating the story on as quickly as it possibly can. The movie doesn't linger very long, and that's what you want in this kind of movie. You want silliness, craziness. Um, at, at moments, there, there are just fun sequences that seem to go on way longer than you would expect and are far more enjoyable than you would at first suspect. A particular standout for me was The Peacemaker versus Bloodsport. And they kind of have a kill off as they're attacking this bunch of mercenaries, showing who can kill somebody the most gruesome. Um, and it's ridiculously silly, it's ridiculously fil uh, funny, and just over the top violent for violence sake. I can appreciate that. That's something I can get behind. The rest of the characters and the plot is fine enough, it's kind of driven forward, there are some nice directorial touches, the story tries a couple of tricks a number of times and sometimes they're great, sometimes it becomes a little bit familiar where they tell you part of a story, jump back maybe days or a few minutes and retell you the next part of the story to catch up with that. It's an interesting idea but by the time it happens the second time you can almost see it coming and some of the visual representations of where we are in the story are nice little touches but unnecessary at the same time. A lot of this movie is unnecessary but it's done with such gusto and energy that it just creates something that's really a hell of a lot of fun. I really enjoyed The Suicide Squad. It was something that put a smile on my face. Something that I really, really was happy to sit and check out. Something that made me come alive at the cinema once more. After a lot of duds, this was something to just sit back and enjoy and soak in the actual craziness that I was watching. Is it a perfect movie? No. But do you know what? It's highly entertaining and it was exactly what I needed. I'd love to know what you think of The Suicide Squad. Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.